So this is the IBM 5150 replica case that I've just made completely from scratch. At the cost of 10 bucks on MDF and a few nights of entertaining work. I had tried to get an IBM XT case, but I wanted to stick a 90s game machine and those retrofits stink. And I also couldn't find the damn thing anywhere in the first place, except of places like eBay, but when they ask me for like 200 for scrap metal, they will surely get my... <laughs> whatever, this one has a flat bezel and like... 22 vents as opposed to 17, it's about 3 inches deeper so it'll fit a bigger motherboard and it's missing the remarkable power switch on the right side. Everything was painted with a roller and the, the outside was painted with a water based blackware and the inside, the inside was painted with a black water based emulsion paint and this is the reason of why you will notice some seeping here and there, like there at the hole and here where the top slides down and uh, pretty much the paint part took me three nights of sanding it and repainting it till I could get the colors accurate. Um, at the end I realized the bezel needed to be grey with just a little bit of orange added inside so to hate that uh, tint you see on old floppy drives and CD drives, but, uh, you know, still not yellow it like, um, you know, like in a condition that you need retro bright. So, yeah, I believe that those, those two, the bezel and the top cover look just fine. The front drive panels are also custom made and the uh, the bezels of the three and a half inch uh, flopper and the CD drive are, you know, painted just with a spray can as I didn't really want to get in the pain of uh, using plastic primers and uh, the spray can and the, the clear coat and um, I'm pretty much sure th this this thing is gonna zip the the time I'm gonna stick a floppy in it but can redo the whole thing easier than getting the paint to do the whole procedure correctly. One thing you will notice inside is that I put a Class T amplifier board, a TA2020 based amplifier board inside to drive this 3.5 inch full range car speaker with it uh, to act as a PC speaker and um, I put a switch on the back plate of the motherboard so to have a switch for the amplifier on the back side and as for the signal I soldered three wires on the three three and a half millimeter green jack of the sound blaster and I put it on the back side I put three female uh, no I mean three male heaters and I made an extension cable with three uh, female three male heaters on uh, each side and uh, legs right in here. What I've also done is I extended the potentiometer with three wires and uh, now it goes to the front side is the one you will see. I haven't put a cap on it or something, don't really think I will need one. And uh, I'm pretty much sure the hard drive and the power supply is gonna have, are gonna have a bad time with the surge of the amplifier, but um, <laughs> I believe it's gonna be fine.